Hi, my name is Jane Gardner, and I'm an alcoholic, a member of Christ Lutheran Church. It has been over 33 years since my first introduction to AA. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in a Christian home and went to parochial school here in Valparaiso. My family had moved around a lot from different parts of the United States, but somehow always ended up in Valparaiso. I considered myself a good student until I discovered drugs and alcohol. I barely graduated high school from VHS as my drug addiction and alcoholism seemed to always take me down a road of destruction. I married at 18 and was divorced at the age of 21, thinking that if I just made a change in my life and not live with my parents anymore that I could have the freedom to use drugs and alcohol as much as I wanted. I thought I was just partying and having a good time as I made sure to hang around people that used drugs and alcohol like I did. My parents intervened at the age of 21 when my marriage ended. My marriage was solely an abusive relationship which was based on using and drinking and nothing else. My parents sent me to a treatment center in Minnesota called Hazleton. I convinced the staff there, or so I thought, that I did not have a problem. This was not my first treatment center or halfway house. Over the next several years of my life, I was in and out of treatment centers and halfway houses. My life spiraled out of control as I ended up in situations and living a lifestyle that I never thought I would be living. At one point, I was even homeless for a while and was sleeping in my car. My parents had done everything they possibly could to get me help, but ultimately it was up to me. I asked my parents again and again for help, and they finally practiced something called tough love and decided that they could no longer help me and told me I knew where the answer was, which was AA. When going to all the facilities that I did, the importance of going to AA meetings was always emphasized. I never followed through until I realized that I was physically, mentally, and spiritually bankrupt. All areas of my life were coming apart, and I was totally hopeless. I knew that I needed to get back into AA. I was in Florida at the time, as that is where my addiction led me at the time. I even thought I could fool people in AA. I was drinking and using drugs on and off until October 19, 1988. This is a very important date in my life. This is when I finally surrendered and realized that the only way I was ever to get sober was to be honest with myself. It was God's will on that day that a woman was put in my life to be my sponsor and walk me through the steps. The AA program is a spiritual program, and the best way that I can describe how effective it is in my life is by continuing to go to meetings on a regular basis and share my experience, strength, and hope with others who are suffering. Believe it or not, that is what helps me to stay sober. I met my current husband, Ben, in Florida. He has been supportive of my recovery for over 33 years. Without my sobriety, none of this would be possible. We have raised three beautiful children together. My husband and I and my children have always been very supportive of my recovery. The blessings of these meetings has allowed me to be a loving mother, wife, and daughter, and productive member of society and stay sober for over 33 years. With God's help, and the people that God has placed in my life, I consider myself a walking miracle. When I moved back to Valparaiso in July of 1997 with approximately nine years of sobriety, I knew that I needed to be an active member of AA. The Porter County Open, which has been around since approximately September 11, 1976, met at the old Porter Memorial Hospital at the time. Unfortunately, we were told that we needed to find another location for our meeting. I'm not sure what year that was, but we moved the meeting to Heritage Lutheran, which I was a member of at the time. My family and I decided to change our membership to Christ Lutheran, which my children were active in the youth program at the time. Pastor Tim was new to the church, and we were no longer going to be able to have our AA meeting at Heritage. I had asked if Pastor Tim would consider letting AA meetings be held at Christ Lutheran on Saturday nights. He said he was hoping to have an AA meeting at the church as he knew the importance and impact that it has on so many people's lives. The Porter County Open is a meeting that is open to individuals who have a desire to stop drinking as well as family members who are trying to understand the disease of addiction. 
We welcome all to attend our AA meeting if they are just trying to understand or if they need help themselves. A bonus of having the AA meetings at Christ Lutheran is when the homeless men are there. A lot of times men and women who are homeless have succumbed to addiction and are in a hopeless situation because they do not know how to get help. We invite them to attend our meeting and will gladly introduce them to getting the help they need by networking with some of the resources that we have available. We also have nursing students from Valparaiso University attend to help them understand the importance of meetings and to understand the disease of alcoholism. I know that during COVID, we, along with other AA meetings, were challenged with having to meet remotely. I know that at one point that the church let us start meeting outside the church for meetings. Then we slowly gathered inside the gathering space and utilized a different format, but we were still able to meet and have an AA meeting. Then as restrictions were lifted, we were able to go back to the speaker meeting format. We sometimes have 10 to 12 people and sometimes 20 to 25 people. My heart was literally filled with joy and gratitude when we were able to meet in person again. I would not be standing here today with over 33 years of continuous sobriety if it were not for the opportunity to meet in person at an AA meeting. I am extremely grateful that Christ Lutheran Church understands the importance of our outreach and that despite COVID or other challenges, that they have always been welcoming and very accommodating to us. On behalf of the other AA members, I want the congregation to know that this outreach is truly a lifesaver and has benefited and impacted more lives than you and I will ever know. Please note that on the last Saturday of the month, when there is five Saturdays, that we have an Al-Anon meeting. This meeting format helps others to understand the effect that the disease of alcoholism has on family members and loved ones. The meeting is open to anyone who chooses to attend and have a better understanding of recovery. God is working through the people in AA, and God is working through the congregation to provide us with such a wonderful meeting place. Words cannot express how truly grateful I am for AA and for Christ Lutheran for providing us with a wonderful facility to host our meeting. I'm sorry I couldn't do this in person, um, but, you know, with the effects of COVID and everything, but um, any of you are welcome to come on Saturday night at 7 o'clock to our meeting, and again, uh, we are all very grateful um, for you to share um, something that is so instrumental and so important to many people. Thank you. God bless.